Welcome to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Anything we have to do? Start getting purple items. It must be close to the end. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. The early results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok, or my old colleagues, or my old liquor cabinet. Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kanya. You saw something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning, for us, for the Quen, and for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see, in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. Okay. Hmm. Is that a small office? For a minor functionary, perhaps? Let's listen. You did this for him? You put, like, off switches in everyone's heads? Kenya, you, you mustn't judge me. I had no choice. If I said no, what would he do to us? What would he do to you? You're my little girl. I was trying to keep you alive. For what, Dad? Seriously, why? So we can be trapped in this underground nightmare? You know what we have to do. Please. Did you find a recording, Aloy? Yeah. I'll share it with you later. Scary. When did they come here? What the fuck? Look at all this equipment. We are getting closer to the heart of this place. I can feel it. An automated geothermal energy plant right under the city of San Francisco. A marvel. Even I can run it. And let's face it, I was always more of a visionary than an engineer. Which is why I had the foresight to insist on the inclusion of a very unique feature. Just in case anyone ever tries to steal my cheese, so to speak. My cheese. Break the door down. I'm going to look for another way in. Good idea. It's worked before. Very well. Get to it.
another entrance. Went. Hurry! Break it open! Ah, is that a vent of some sort? Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Well, I do, some because you guys can stay stay there. Did you make it to the other side? I can't open the door. A console. Maybe I can access Ted's files from here. There. Omega clearance. Got it. What do you have to say for yourself, Ted? Somtau's dead. Along with his kid. Found him on the floor of his office this morning, holding hands. Must have poisoned themselves. I never would have put them to sleep. She was just a girl, for Christ's sake. I offered them life. And this is how they repaid me. By leaving me all alone. But I guess I've been alone since this whole thing began. Alone in bearing the burden. For the past. For the future. Same old Ted. No matter who dies, he's the one feeling sorry for himself. Less his future. Less his children. Someday they'll come. And I'll be here to greet them. Sometimes said my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. What? And energy. Sometimes if the reactor can give me what I need to grow strong again, to get my shit back together, so I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. My advice. My guidance. And then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Uh, not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. Well, you're not gonna like what you see, brother. I can promise you that. At last, Pharaoh's legacy is mine. Is that? It's him. It's him. <laughs> I want to see it. Burn it to ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down if... Kill them too. No witnesses. What the? Here they come. We have to... I'll take her out! Oh, <laughs> What the fuck? They didn't even give me a chance like that. 
Holy fuck. I can hit them from range. I see the outlander. <laughs> Bro! Well, we're gonna burn, bro. Lonely burn. The reactor to overflow if he dies. We have to run. No way, he died. I wanted to see him though. Oh my god. Where are we going? Still in this fight. The whole place is shaking. Run! Uh oh. But I want to see the Pharaoh, man. What the heck? I'm burning. You gotta be smart. found something that will help not just your homeland but everywhere but where's the CO oh, he's gone 
I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. I see. You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought Thebes down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Okay. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. I mean, oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth wherever it leads. I'll see you there. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm so sad that I couldn't see the... Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. And there's still that tall neck nearby. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the CO made me play dress up. Yeah, I'll handle that quickly. Yes. Like a new. So, I'm so sad that I couldn't see the Ted Pharaoh. I just wanted to see, like, how it looks. And I was kind of cool that he's still alive. Like, he probably wasn't himself, obviously. But... It was like a zombie or something. Crazy. Okay, can fire there. Let's go to Gaia. Okay, so map. And then we go back. The base. Well, that was quite a journey. Let me remove this. Hmm. 
holograms for everything. It let them experience a great many things. Holograms are illusions, though. I wonder if at some point they just couldn't tell what was real anymore. Maybe. They were intelligent, but that doesn't mean they were wise. I mean, we had some wise people too. I mean, don't. Uh, est what was the word? Don't estimate. Estimate. Don't think we are a fool. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know the correct word for it. Errant. There she is. I hear you found Thebes. How was it? Maniacs, lava. What's not to like? I remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. All right. You look tired. Ha! You never want to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Errant. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. Uh, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. <laughs> I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. Why? From the look on your face, I'd say the mission was a success. I got Omega Clarence. Is everyone ready to head out to Cauldron Gemini? As soon as you give the word. Did Alva make it here all right? Our new Quen friend. The moment she laid eyes on the archives, she jumped on them like a long leg. Sounds about right. Huh. Now that I have Omega Clarence, we can grab Hephaestus and finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. Yeah. It's uh, a lot greener in here, isn't it? Yeah, Zoe's been bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. Well, it, it's nice. It livens up the place. Yeah, cool. Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zoe liked it. I'm glad you and Zoe found each other. Don't forget, you're to blame for that. Ah, <laughs> true. I should go get this to Gaia. Of course. Let us know when we're needed. And I want to talk with Zo. Welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Varro gave her a new focus. Though when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale I... I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alva. Huh. Sounds like me. The Zenith did a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. I mean, not really. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them. Even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo, that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. Yeah, exactly. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? 
From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from, like you've done here for us. Maybe one day more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds crowded, but nice. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It yeah. Wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? <laughs> Read anything interesting lately? I found out the Old Ones use leaf infusions like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. Apparently it helped soothe them. That and some sort of scented wax they use to cleanse their aura. Uh, plus something called bubble baths. Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. I mean, you should try a bubble bath too. It's good. Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth. Like a heart beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of course, Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. Yeah. I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the Old World. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now just as it did before. Mm. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. <laughs> loud. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. The fuck, man? It's my, it's my boyfriend! Stop talking to him like that. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. <laughs> You ever played that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. Let the man listen, whatever, man. What the fuck? You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. 
Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? There's always Gatalo. Leave allowed Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? Everything. What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. Oh my god, it's not ending! How are things with everyone? Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently the old ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it Metal versus Meat. A must-see battle between steel and flesh, as Aaron likes to put it. You'd think we have enough of that going around as it is. Okay, bye-bye. I need to get going. Right. You've retrieved the Omega clearance. That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear is ready. Nice. Let's talk with... Aloy. There are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself. Thank you. You guys are generous. Hello. Aloy! Right to work, I see. There's just... so much! I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor! Genetically speaking, of course, not like the, um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay, how about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. Yeah, talk. You mentioned Eric Visser? How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers use to conquer and expand, to become the empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well, at least you're piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. Beta mentioned other Zeniths. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the Diviners haven't recovered. I mean, with that focus, I understand. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover, with this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is, whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study. I'm a form you can study everything. I don't care. You want data, you'll find lots of it here. A diviner has never had this sort of unsupervised access to archives such as this. And... Knowing you, I suspect there is much that would normally be forbidden held within them. But I was sent here to help you. I would be remiss to ignore any truth laid before me. Maybe it'll help the Quen find their way back to the path of truth. Maybe. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but they're a good group. It's funny because... One of your friends is, well, another you. <laughs> Not that you are the same person. Uh, I mean, you are, as in, you're both genetically Elizabeth Sobeck. 
But even so, you're different. Yeah, we are. Sisters. Hi, sisters. Sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. I hope everyone's been treating you okay. Oh, yeah, of course. They've all been extremely welcoming. And they share the knowledge they learn on their focuses with each other freely. It's refreshing. Back home, diviners can only share data with the permission from the overseers. Sounds restrictive and stifling. Yeah, you are not wrong. I'm never wrong. Never. <clears throat> All right, let's go. I need to get going, but if you need anything, all I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right. I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. All right. Catello, Catello. What's up? Aloy, well met. We've been briefed on our mission and are ready whenever you wish to head to Cauldron Gemini. How are we doing, brother? I don't care anything about the Tanakh, to be honest. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. Understood. Have you spoken with Alva? The Quen is peculiar. Nothing like a Tanakh. Her mind is sharp. That much is certain. But it's hard to imagine her surviving in the wilds. Trust me. She's tougher than she looks. I will take your word for it. Yeah, she's good with fight. Not gonna lie. How are your studies going? I wanted to learn more about the world of the old ones. And? I looked up this pharaoh Gaia said you went looking for, and learned about the plague of machines he unleashed. To think that the ancient world was wiped out by... <sighs> a mistake. A single miscalculation. That... There is no glory or honor in such a fate. Only hubris and pointless death. That about sums it up. Okay. I have to go now. Then do not let me keep you. All right. And my sister? I don't know where the... It's here? Yeah. Yeah, it's here. What? Why the doors not opening? Wait, why I cannot talk? Ah! The fuck? Alright, I guess. They throw my sister. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the car chip. Why? Yeah, it beats me. It probably meant something to them. As it does to my people and the Tanakh. I just think my face says it all as is. That's all. <laughs> that it does. Exactly. See, that another reason why I love Errant. Like, too much makeup is disgusting. Like, painting is okay, it's different, but like... The one that girl is doing, like, too much makeup? Nah. Aloy, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? 
Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega Clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you'd better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. I mean, I was there just now. You guys locked the door. He couldn't pee. He couldn't sh I mean, she couldn't pee. She couldn't shit. What do you expect? She got sick. Aloy. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. Their slave. Forever. What's the difference? Varl and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Beta... Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? You don't have a mentor. Talk about the rust. Beta. You don't have a defect. Beta, look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. 
The difference is... I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. When it looks impossible, look deeper and then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, kill me. I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise. I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Nice. Wow. We're gonna kill her. Whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Alrighty. A new oh, conversation. We're fighting immortals from the stars now. Looks like it. What's next? Wizards from the moon? Aloy. Everything okay with you and Beta? It sounded like you guys had a uh, lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. Funny. <laughs> I hope firing off those pulse generators will be enough to distract the Zeniths. It'll work. It has to. Always optimistic, huh? Nah, just stubborn. It's a good quality to have when dealing with you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not for better, though. Any last findings you want to share before leaving? Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh? When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora. Spread what I've learned. You think they'll listen to you? In time, I believe so. If anyone can make it happen, it's you, Varl. What will you and Zoe do if you go back to the Embrace? I hope she'll come with me. At least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong, too. She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this, as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will. When you guys marry, then? I will come. With our aunt. How does everyone seem to you? Anxious. But ready. I heard Catalo ask for Alva's help with his pulse generator. 
And I know he's been helping her with a few fighting techniques, just in case. I hope they aren't needed. Like I said, just in case. <laughs> okay, you learned something. Okay, I got it, man. Holy shit. You were right, you know. About keeping Rost's memories buried. I guess part of me thought he was holding me back. Because he wanted me to be a Nora. But the truth is, he gave me a lot. And I took him for granted. He was a good man. He raised you well. I'm glad you're coming with me, Varl. Sure there's no urge to run off alone in there somewhere? No more running. No more running. Probably not. <laughs> hey, I thought I'd check in before leaving for Gemini. Are you sure we shouldn't be checking up on you? Whatever went on between you and Beta sounded intense. Not that I'm judging. Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So, no more reading. Yeah, I wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built? Oh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. They still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads working to save the future. Our future. Exactly. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Let's go. Thank you, Erend. Amen. I'm... Glad you're with me. Okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> All right. And that's, I should go. That's fine. That's same here. I got a date with a cauldron to prepare for. <laughs> All right. Gaia. Hello again, Aloy. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care and peace out.